This spreadsheet right here has over a thousand different blog post titles, a thousand different blog post titles. And I generated it using AI by simply typing in the phrase college life. I typed in the phrase college life in the AI generated 10 different topical clusters about college life, classes, social activities, dorm life, academic pressure, study habits, all that stuff. And then for each of those topical clusters, it generated 10 different long tail keywords. And then for each of those long tail keywords, it generated 10 different blog post titles, a thousand blog post titles by simply typing in the phrase college life. Not only did it do all that, it created 10 different categories for our WordPress website. And then if we paste in this merged list at the end of the spreadsheet, Zimwriter, the AI writing software, will write the article for us. It will upload the article to WordPress. It will create the category if the category does not exist. It will index the article in the category, and then you're done. So theoretically, you could type in one phrase and create an entire website without any more work. That's pretty cool. Now, I do recommend editing your articles. I, I strongly recommend that. But if you really did want to create a website by just clicking a couple buttons, you can now do that with Zimwriter. Let me demonstrate how it all works. So in Zimwriter, there's a new feature called AI Vault. The AI Vault is a place where we're going to store all the extra features that kind of don't belong anywhere else. And in it, you'll see this button called Activate Topical Authority Generator. I don't know if you've ever heard the word topical authority, but topical authority is really important in the world of SEO. If you are a blog about dogs, how to care for a dog, and you write an article about how to invest in your kid's college fund, you're probably not gonna rank because you're not an authority on investing, you're an authority on dogs. So it's important to build that topical authority up. Now there's lots of courses and lots of literature on what topical authority means and whatnot, but I'm, I'm gonna skip all that. I just wanna give that high level overview on what topical authority is. And this solution that Zimwriter creates isn't meant to be the end all be all of topical authority generation, but it's meant to be a really cool tool that you can get a lot of use out of. So we'll click the button and you'll see the menu in here and it will ask for our broad concept. Now, the broad concept is usually gonna be more than one word. You can put up to five different words in here and you wanna give the AI some direction. This is gonna be your niche or your sub niche. So if your niche is how to care for a dog, all right, maybe this broad concept could be washing a dog or washing your cat or something like that. In this example, I will do Donald Trump. Trump. Then you want to set some limits. So how many topical clusters do we want? How many long tails do we want? And how many blog post titles do we want? Now realize that you'll get three blog post titles for each long tail. And you'll get three long tails for each topical cluster. So you're going to get 27 different blog titles with this setting here. If we come down here and we say 10 different topical clusters, we're going to get 90 blog post titles. It's going to take longer to generate a higher number. If you put in 10 and 10, you'll get a thousand different blog post titles. This will take a couple minutes. Now using Turbo, this will cost roughly for a thousand different blog post titles, roughly 20 cents. GPT-4 is a little bit more expensive. This is going to be about $4, $5 to do a thousand different blog post titles. So just don't be surprised. Just be aware of what the pricing is. We'll just do three of each and then we'll click Create Topical Authority CSV. You'll see it working down here. And we'll open this up and you'll eventually see this Donald Trump CSV generated inside of here. Now, while that's working, let me explain some stuff. We were looking at college life. So this example was using Turbo. And as you can see, the cost was 20 cents. I also did college life using GPT-4. Now this was, let's make this a little bit bigger. All right, now this was $4 and about 50 cents, a little bit more expensive, but when we're talking about creating a, a topical authority, topical map around a particular niche, four or five bucks is really a drop in the bucket when it's all said and done. So let's, before we talk about these, let's look at the Donald Trump one, because we just generated that. So this is the CSV, let's format the cells real quick. I'll make this a little bit bigger. All right, so remember, we said, give us three clusters. So politics, presidency, controversies. Now, just so you know, this does not go out and scrape the internet. This is all AI based. Eventually I might build some different SERP scraping and stuff like that in here, but right now this is all just AI based. 
So these are our, our clusters. Now for each cluster, we have different long tails. So for politics, we have Donald Trump impeachment trial, Trump administration policies, Trump campaign controversies. And you'll see for each one of these, we have a different blog post title. And there's this little type column right here. What this is, there's different blog post types. There's FAQ posts, there's uh, Y posts, listicle posts, how to posts. You'll also see some stuff called psychology, which there's different like psychological ways to make a blog post title. So if you see one of these pop up, it's using one of the random psychological ways to make a blog post title. There's also a headline hack, but I don't see that in here. That's in, let's find one over here, headline hack. There's some different headline hacks that we can make too that you'll eventually see pulled in. Now, you'll also see this category over here. The category is similar to the topical cluster. It's not always identical, but it's over here. And you'll also see this outline focus. The outline focus is a cool feature that's already existing inside of ZimWriter, and you can put it in adjacent to your title. So this is a merged column with our category and our outline focus. So you could theor theoretically take this and go over to ZimWriter and open up the bulk writer and paste this whole thing in. So we have our title for the article, Unveiling the Truth Inside Donald Trump's Impeachment Trial. And the category, if we leave this in here, it's going to create the category politics if it doesn't already exist. It is going to assign it to the category politics. Now, our outline focus is going to give the AI some direction on what the article is going to be about as it writes just the outline, just that outline that you want written. That's important because sometimes these titles are amorphous to the AI. Let's see if I can find one. So this is a great example. Six key policies shaping the future under current administration. That's a very amorphous title. It doesn't mention Donald Trump in there. So the outline focus says the context for the numeric list, the numeric list is this outline that the AI is going to create, is Trump administration policies for the topic of politics in the context of Donald Trump. So when you put this outline focus in with your blog post title, you'll get something that will actually uh, be on point to this particular article title right here. Now, if you use a custom outline, your mileage is going to vary. But if you don't use a custom outline, you'll get much better results using that, that outline focus. Now, the other thing I want to talk about, and this is the more important matter, why is there such a difference in price between GPT-4 and GPT-3.5? GPT-3.5 is 20 cents. GPT-4 is $4.50. For some people, that's a lot of money. Is it really worth using GPT-4 over, over GPT-3.5 Turbo? Well, one of the differences is GPT-4 is just more expensive than GPT-3.5 Turbo. But even though it's more expensive, sometimes it's worth it because its knowledge base, its brain, so to speak, is larger than Turbo. And it also follows directions a lot better. So I put these side by side. Turbo is on my left, GPT-4 is on the right. And let me try to see if I can demonstrate this. And, and realize, too, we do get different topical clusters. So we have academic studies here, and that could probably be the same as classes. Is one right and one wrong? Not necessarily. We have classes, social activities, we have academic studies, we have dormitory living, we have dorm life over here. So there is a lot of similarities. But let's go over and look at the actual types, because that's where you'll really see the difference between GPT-4 and 3.5. Here's a Y post right here. All right, six game-changing college classes for non-traditional students. And the category is classes, college classes for non-traditional students. So six game-changing college classes for non-traditional students. But it's a why post. This is a good blog post title, nothing wrong with it. But a why post over here would often have the word why at the beginning of it. Why college students swear by these study techniques. So it's not to say that this stuff is wrong over here but the AI will better follow the prompting behind the scenes for these types of posts when you're using GPT-4 over GPT-3.5. So in my opinion, if money is not a big issue for you and paying four or five bucks for a thousand different blog post titles isn't really a big deal, then use the GPT-4 because you'll get a better variety of blog post titles than you will with GPT-3.5. The other thing that you might be wondering is, do you need to generate a thousand different blog post titles? Like what settings should we use over here when we generate this? 
Because you don't technically have to. We can go over here and say we want 10 topical clusters to build that authority. And we want 10 different long tails, but let's do three different blog post titles. You know, that's perfectly fine. Realize that the blog post titles, there will be some overlap for a particular long tail. So here's our long tail right here. Effective study techniques for college students. So 15 proven study techniques for college students. All right. And then here we go. Cutting edge college study strategies worth testing now. There's some overlap between both of these articles. Should you write both of these articles? I don't know. That's going to be up to you. But there might be some overlap within the long tails. So you can think about the topical cluster and the long tail as ways to really build that authority. And then the blog post title section as different options to choose from. Maybe you won't write all of these. Maybe you'll say, you know what? We don't want this one. And maybe we don't want this one, but we want these. So you can go through here and curate your own list. So what you can do, so we've deleted these sections, but you really want to delete the merged stuff too over here if you're gonna end up pasting this whole thing in to uh, the bulk writer. So you can just delete this whole row right here and that will clear it out for you. So again, you don't have to pick every single one inside of a particular section. Pick the ones you want. And that kind of goes back to here. You don't necessarily have to generate 10 different blog post titles. Maybe you wanna use GPT-4, but you want to save a couple bucks and you don't really need 10. So you're only going to use five. So you play around with this. In my opinion, if you want to just explore things and, and see if there is some good AI recommendations for your different broad concept, start out with three. That's the default. Start out with three, start out with turbo and kind of see what the AI gives you. If it's giving you some good topical clusters and you also might want to narrow stuff down a little bit. So here our broad concept was college life. But maybe you want to say, you know what, I want to kind of niche down to dormitory living and college life. So let's do something like that. Let's go over here and we'll say three long tails, one blog post title. We'll say dorm living at college. So we've niched down a little bit. We'll generate the clusters real quick. So you don't have to just use what you get here. You can explore this a little bit and say, oh, you know what? It's coming up with some really good stuff that I didn't think about. Some really good ways to niche down, some other different talking points. Heck, you don't even have to feed this stuff into ZimWriter. You, maybe you have another AI writer that you wanna use. So really think outside the box with this. There's a myriad of use cases for this. So we niche down to dorm living at college. Let's see what the CSV looks like. I'll make this a little bigger. And we'll auto fit. So dorm living at college. So benefits of dorm living. So that could be a topical cluster. Challenges of dorm living. Tips for successful dorm living experiences. All right. So here's the long tail. Enhanced social experience in dorm in college dorms. Convenient access to campus amenities. To disco discover the ultimate dorm living benefit. Ten ways to supercharge your college dorm social life. So you're like, you know what? I like this. I like what it's giving me. I like this little niche. I want to focus on that niche. And so you'll, what you'll go over here, you'll go back and you'll put in like dorm living at college. And you'll say, now I want to do the full 1000 different blog post titles. So pretty cool stuff. That's about it. As far as the, the topical authority generator goes, there is that directions sheet linked to the directions right here. You can see my mouse moving. Click the directions, read the directions. Any questions, drop them in the comments below or visit the Facebook group. There's over 11,000 members in there that can help you out getting started with this. Other than that, hey, that's all I got. There's links in the description down below to ZimWriter. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Good luck with your content generation and I'll talk to you later.